So Bash, like some other programs, I know BusyBox does this too, will modify its behavior if it is named something other than Bash. So in this example, this uh, commenter is talking about how if you name Bash just SH and you invoke it, it will invoke slightly differently than if it was just called Bash. You can give it a dash dash POSIX flag and it will cause it to invoke itself the same way. But basically, if the binary of Bash, the execution that you're about to start, if Bash is called SH, it will execute in a POSIX compatible mode. The reasoning for this is really simple. If you have Bash on a system, you don't also need the born shell. I'm not talking about like you as a user. I'm talking about like if you were making like a distribution. Say you wanted to make like your own Linux distribution and you're like, oh, I want a Bash shell on here. Okay, I could put Bash on it. But then you're like, okay, I want my system to be POSIX compliant. So I do need a POSIX compatible shell like the born shell or something like that. Well, Bash can do that. If you symlink bash to slash bin slash sh, you can technically you can put it anywhere as long as it's named sh, the base name of the program is sh. But if you symlink it to bin sh, then it will act like sh. It won't act like the normal bash mode. It will invoke itself in the POSIX compatible way. Um, you could hard link it as slash bin slash sh. I know there are a lot of operating systems that do this. Bash will be installed and it will also be in bin sh. And that's why bash will operate differently if it's named that. Much like if you have BusyBox, you could sim link that or hard link that to like LS. And then when you invoke it, it runs like LS. Bash can be invoked like a born shell or like a POSIX compatible shell. That's the reason for that.